What are we to feel about P. Diddy right now in light of all the allegations that's against him and what he's going through right now? The way the world is set up where everybody can chime in on your life yep. is kind of unfair. Totally. When you're going through, you know, a situation like he's going through. But um, nobody, nobody knows. There's always three. His side of the story, the people's, and the actual truth yeah. will... You gotta wait to see what comes out. This, this is a quick. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I think he, you know, I think he's getting a lot of negative. You know, people kicking him while he's going through it. I, I don't think that's that cool. But no, it ain't. I think you gotta mind your business and just see what happens and try to pray for him. Not over think. something like this. I'll be damned if anybody gonna sit up there and say I'm saying he's guilty. I don't want to believe he's guilty of such a thing. As far as I'm concerned, you innocent until proven guilty. I don't know anything, but I do feel it's fair to ask this next question: How? Is and was he viewed in the hip hop industry as a person, as a producer, a guy? Talk about what when folks bring up Sean P. Diddy Combs, what were the thoughts that came to everybody's mind in that genre? A great mogul. You know what I mean? He did, he started from the bottom as an intern and turned and made a, um, a billion dollar label mm-hmm. or turned himself to a billionaire or close to a billionaire, or, you know what I mean? And he was beloved. Mm-hmm. Some of the best parties yes. without, you yes. know, yeah. that I ever been to in I my went, life. I went to a couple. You know I, I can mean? confirm that. Yes. And um, that's it. People loved him. He loved to have fun. He loved to make music, make it. He helped change my life. How? You know what I mean? He gave my first record. Yeah. Dude. Whether it was a good deal or a bad deal, it was still <laughs> it gave me an opportunity to, to do to be here with you today. So you know what I mean. We gotta just see, like you said, innocent until proven guilty, and nobody knows what's going on except him and and whoever's involved. So I ain't got no problem saying this about Diddy. I love his business acumen. I love to go get him mentality. Definitely one of the I most love- impeccable businessmen of all time. I love how he pushed and encouraged all of us to go for it in the world of business. That's my interpretation mm-hmm. based on a few conversations that I've had with him in my life. Now, he's trying to own an NBA team. Four years ago, he was trying to, he was trying to be a part of a group to buy the Charlotte Hornets. Mm-hmm. Hey, he wanted to be a part of that. That's how I spoke to him. What about you? What about you in terms of what he had the push that that's what I if you if business. you've been around I mean I'm just, I was signed to his label but one thing you learn from him you're not gonna outwork him he makes sure he instills we're not sleeping we gonna work we we can't let nobody outwork us and then you put the work you reap the benefits of you know the fruits of your labor right if you get if you ever been around the one thing you're gonna get is he going everybody is on full work tunnel vision mode to the right. missions complete. There's no, no, there's no, we can, there's no, mm-hmm. we're not going to be the winners. And that's the mentality. You, you sound like have. that now. You about to go on a tour. 30th year anniversary the locks. I mean, that's what you sound like you ready to do. You sound like you got more energy now. I don't know if we would have heard you sound sounding like this 15, 20 years ago, but you seem to have that in you now. I'm not saying you did it back then, didn't know you back then. But especially right now, you seem to have more energy than ever before. Is that right? Yeah, I feel. I mean, well, I'm coming off fasting. Okay. You know what I mean? So my, my energy is great. Okay. But, um, yeah, as you go, you got to learn. If, if if you get nothing else out of the game, you have to get some type of knowledge or learn not to do what you see some people, some mistakes people made or learn not to make a, do the same dumb stuff twice. When y'all go on tour, where y'all going? Everywhere. everywhere. I mean, not everywhere, but it's in the United States, but it's about 30, 30 some dates, I think. Okay. All right. I got to find out when you're in New York or LA. Those are two, two places I'm going to be at. I got, you. I got to make sure I got to make sure I make it out there. 